The Yorkshire Terrier tail and the issue of docking is a very controversial subject. In the US, per AKC standard, the Yorkie should have its tail docked to a medium length. There are many other countries around the world that ban the procedure of docking a dog's tail. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Counties that dock the Yorkie and counties that do not. In America, the largest and most respected dog breed club, the AKC lists the official confirmation of the Yorkshire Terrier breed to have a docked tail, to a medium length. Therefore, if you plan on showing your dog, you will need to have the docking done. The ANKC, CKC, NZKC and UKC also call for the Yorkie's tail to be docked. Most breeders will have this done, as it is in the best interest of the dog to have this procedure done when they are a very young puppy, at just a few days old. However, there are some breeders, who if selling a Yorkie as a pet may not have its tail docked. Nevertheless, the majority of breeders in American will have the tail docked. Reasons to dock the tail or keep it natural. There is not reason based on health or happiness to perform Yorkie tail docking. Having a docked tail does not improve any vital element of the dog including motor skills in regard to movement or health. Why are Yorkie tails docked? The only reason is so that the dog fits the breed standard of the AKC and the other dog clubs that call out for it. Therefore, this alteration in appearance only for aesthetic purposes. If the owner of a Yorkie is not planning on showing their dog in dog shows, there is no reason to dock the tail, other than a personal preference to have a dog that matches closest to breed standard confirmation. If an owner is planning to show their Yorkie in an AKC, ANKC, CKC, NZKC or UKC confirmation event, the tail must be docked in order for him or her to compete. If an owner is planning to not show their Yorkie in an AKC, ANKC, CKC, NZKC or UKC confirmation event, there is no reason other than aesthetic reasons to have this done. However, many owners will not have a say, as most will obtain their Yorkie puppy well after the procedure has already been done. Potential owners are often surprised that when looking at puppies for sale, it is mentioned that this has already been done. Therefore, they do not have a chance to decide for themselves. If one does not want their puppy to have a shorter, erect tail, one would normally put a deposit down on a pup of an expected litter, with explicit instructions to leave the Yorkie tail as it is. This is not uncommon and for this reason, there are lots of Yorkies with natural tails. Our own poll regarding this showed a 60-40ths ratio showing that almost one half of all owners of purebreds, have a dog that is left natural. The docking procedure. Docking is the procedure that is done to Yorkie newborns, in some counties, in which their naturally long tail is made shorter via amputation. This is not to be taken lightly any sort of procedure such as this does cause discomfort. This causes the dog's tail to stand straight and erect. With this breed, it is cut to one half the normal length thus resulting in a medium-sized tail, which then will stand up vertically. This can be done in one of two ways. The first involves constricting the blood supply to the Yorkie tail with a rubber ligature for a few days. When done correctly, the top part of the tail will fall off. This is normally done when the puppy is 24 to 96 hours old. The puppy's tail falls off in about 3 days. The second involves the cutting of the dog's tail with surgical scissors or a scalpel, performed by a veterinarian. When done this way, it is normally done at the young age of 2 to 5 days. Anesthesia is not used as it is considered a risk at this age. When carried out correctly, the procedure causes only a brief period of discomfort. Because the puppy does not have a fully developed nervous system. This is why it is done so early in their life. If done later, it would be considered a major surgery and would be quite painful. If a puppy does not have this done at the above early age, it is then recommended to wait until the puppy is older than 10 weeks because the older puppy or dog will feel quite a bit of pain. Therefore, this is done with the dog under anesthesia. 
It is dangerous for a very young puppy to be under anesthesia, so the procedure is put on hold until the Yorkie is older. In some cases, an undocked adult dog many need to have this done due to severe trauma to the tail while rare, this can happen due to injury. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.